teams of the National Football League. Brings us to the Crescent City of New Orleans and the Caesars Superdome, the home of the Saints. On the return, here's Mims. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Out of the gun, they'll throw to get things going. They'll come up here on second down and five. Throw it. Knicks. That's to the former line, Josh Reynolds. The first round pick looking right at home in this offense. It's a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing, and even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. He's got the tight end, Adam Trotman. He'll get about six before he's taken down. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, Sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. To throw is Nix. He gets this complete to Dulcich. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the week's plan was, and that was to get the quarterback in a rhythm right out of the gate through the passing game. They've essentially ignored the ground game up until this point. You got to imagine as the game unfolds, they'll sprinkle in some runs. But so far, it's been their passing game. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. The Saints have got it. And he is going to bring this one back. They force the fumble, and it leads to a defensive score. And that is the dream start for this defense on the opening drive. They get the first points of the game for their... And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. He'll try again here, second and ten. A first carry for the former Tar Heel, Javante Williams. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yards. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. He connects, it's in the hands of Reynolds. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. On now, it's Will Lutz to try the field goal. This one from 52 yards away. This one off the upright. He had the distance, but it's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And that's just a tough way to finish off what was a good opening drive. And obviously, as a kicker, you have to have a short memory. But you can bet he'll be thinking about that one the rest of the way. On the ground for the first time, this is Alvin Kamara. 
and he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. The linebacker, Cody Barton, in on the tackle. Here's second and nine. Rattler now back to throw. Open man down the field. It's Olave. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Here's Rattler. He's got it inside the five. And he's in. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, New Orleans. So often these defenses come into the game, Mike, and when they build their pass defense plan, there's tight ends, there's receivers. There's so many weapons that these offenses around the league have at their disposal. It could be easy sometimes to not account for the running back out of the backfield, and that's exactly what happened here easy throw get it into the hands of one of the most dynamic guys on the field and let them do the rest after the catch and he takes it in for a touchdown seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air Here's Smith to return it. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll start out first down and 10. They'll go play action with Knicks. This one taken in by Reynolds. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. Working free downfield, it is Williams. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They'll throw. It's Nix. He's got it at the three. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. Quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. Ball at the three, second down, and goal. Throwing is Nix. He's got his big tight end. Greg Dulcich. Touchdown, Bronco. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Here comes the all-pro returner from last year, Rashid Shaheed. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Saints offense ready for their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down.
Looking to throw. Rattler. This one on target to Olave. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. You don't want to make a living off of making these kind of throws, Mike. It's one thing to throw into tight coverage, but it's another thing to throw into tight double coverage. And while the quarterback gets away with one here, I don't think you want to make a living doing it. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Throwing is Rattler. He's across midfield. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. So 31 yards on this play. A second big one in a row and another first down. So we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. Pair of sevens on the scoreboard. More from New Orleans after this. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Out of the gun, here's a give to Kamara. Riding off defenders here, he'll churn forward and pick up three. Second and seven. Shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call. But as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. The next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. Here, the ball is thrown short. The idea is get the ball in the hands of your playmaker and let him pick up the rest with his feet. But you know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Groupies kick is good. And the Saints will break our tie and take a 10-7 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Mims. Now an opening past the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and 10. Back to throw is Nix. He's got his receiver. It's Cortland Sutton. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's Nix to throw. His throw left side is complete. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. On first down, here's Nick's to throw. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle 
to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. That is a gain of 15, and now it's first and goal. What a great run down here inside the red zone, Mike. It's so important that you still can run the ball. Great job here by the back. I thought for a minute he was going to score. He gets it all the way down inside the one, and I wouldn't be surprised if they let him finish this drive off. So you're a couple inches away from instead of celebrating a touchdown with your boys on the sideline, you're trotting back to the huddle with your tail between your legs, and that's the fine line between success and failure in the NFL. And the reality is, he knows it, the sideline knows it, the huddle knows it. At this level, you've got to make that play. That is hot side of the end zone. Portland Sutton, touchdown Denver. Pretty interesting sequence of play calls here, Mike. You can tell going into this game, they felt their matchups down here deep in the tight red zone were better and of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. So replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. Lutz for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Broncos are on top. It's 14 to 10. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Shahid now to return it. Oh, ho And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Now out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. It'll be a run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Olave is the motion man. Now Rattler going to throw. This one is caught by Jawan Johnson. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting to third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. But when you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have a place, that's when an offense is really fired. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Shahid with the catch. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. Nice job there. Getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Shahid in motion. They'll run on first down with Kamara. And a determined run there. 
He gets about seven yards inside the 10-yard line. Here's second and three to go. Throwing now is Rattler. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. To throw, it's Rattler. And he cannot get away, brought down. And that sack will bring us to the two-minute warning. Here comes Blake Groupie for this field goal try. This from 30 yards out. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Saints are back within a point. It's 14-13. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Smith to return it. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The visitors' offense ready to get back at it. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. He connects with Mims. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Second down, Nix. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So big pickup there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. On second down, it's Nix. Left side. That's complete. It's Sutton. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. And he's going to have a first down here as they are into field goal range at the 27. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. He connects. It's in the hands of Reynolds. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line.
a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, here's Nix. He finds his tight end, Dulcich. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Now, a second down throw for Knicks. This one caught at the four. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. On now, it's Will Lutz to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. He makes up for the earlier miss. This time, the kick is good. And the Broncos can attack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Rattler now back to throw. He's going to take a shot down the field. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Shahid now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The home team's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Olave is the motion man. Here's Rattler. The man down the field, it's Olave. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. For any long developing play like that to work, everyone on the offensive side of the ball has to do their job at a high level. First, the pass protection has to hold up. Then, the receiver has to be able to separate from his man defender. And then, of course, the quarterback has to be on time and on target with the ball. And when you do, you move the chains. On first and ten, they'll set up to throw. 14 yards on the pickup there. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Throwing now on first and 10. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Looking to throw, Rattler. Rashid Shaheed, touchdown six. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns. 
and then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this, and his receiver is able to take it in for six. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Mims. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready for their first possession of this second half. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Throwing, mix. This one taken in by Reynolds. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. They'll throw. It's Knicks. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17-yard line. The home team's offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. The tight end Moreau is in motion. On the ground, it is Jamal Williams. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. So as we take a look at the box score, Mike, you realize here they got the lead. We're in the second half, but they don't have a lot of rush yards. It's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead. Now, how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game. Can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out? They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. It's a gain of 16, and it's two nice plays to begin this drive. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. 
Quick throw, taken in. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. You get so caught up defending all of these weapons all over the field, and it's sometimes really easy to forget about the back. And in this case, the quarterback does a nice job just dropping the ball off in his check down, and he lets him do the rest. Here's first and ten. Throwing is Rattler. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just... He is in! Rashid Shaheed! Touchdown, New Orleans! That his second touchdown tonight. This is a great decision by the quarterback. You can see, Mike, he's trying to push this ball downfield and pick up a big completion in the air. But with the amount of depth the defense was getting, his best option was the check down, the underneath short throw, and just say, hey, pick up this rest of this game with your legs after the catch. And fortunately for this quarterback, this short throw is going to go down in the box score as a touchdown. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, here's Mims. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Broncos offense ready to get back to work. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Drive begins with a run by Williams. He'll manage to get two, maybe three on that carry. Demario Davis there on the play. They face second down and seven. Now Nick's going to look to throw. He's got it to the tight end, Dulcich. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Here's Nicks to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I could promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. Off the play fake, here's Knicks. This will be intercepted by Marshawn Lattimore. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. And 
and it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. A gain there, and now whistles as the challenge flag is out, and this last play will be reviewed. First and ten. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. Now, faking the give. That is brought in at the 10. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, six. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but... It's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. On comes Blake Groupie for the PAT. He's got it. And the Saints will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here's Mims. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Broncos offense ready for this next possession. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page. and. The ball falls incomplete. He's across midfield. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. I don't know if you saw it, Mike, but the coach on the sideline was actually trying to call a timeout before the ball was snapped. I think the offense recognized they had the matchup they wanted defensively and got it off before the coach could get his timeout called. There was confusion on the back end, both pre- and post-snap. I think they were able to take advantage of that easy pitch and catch wide open in the middle of the field. He was looking for Marvin Mims there, and it'll bring up second down. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. He'll throw it left and has his running back. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Knicks from the gun on third down. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's going to be taken down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? 
That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he will win the race to the pylon. He's in. Bo Nix. Touchdown, Broncos. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes Hill on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Saints offense back onto the field for their next possession. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. To throw, it's Rattler. Thrown left side, the catch is made. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Here's a second and nine. Throwing now is Rattler. Got his receiver on the in cut. He's got it. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent as possible here down the stretch late. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Now Rattler gonna throw. His pass taken in by Shaheed. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. It's a give now to Camara. And the Saints have a first and goal forthcoming. He takes this down to the five-yard line. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping it. take us to the two-minute warning. Yeah. 
Inside the five, it is second and goal. Again, it'll be Camaro. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. They'll try to run it with Williams. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Some extra bulk out there. They're going to roll the dice and go for it on fourth and goal. They'll drop to throw. And this is incomplete. They don't go for the field goal. Wind up trying to throw for the touchdown. They get nothing out of it on fourth and goal. You know, more often than not in the NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge for a big-time fourth down stop. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Got a man over the middle. There's Sutton. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Nick snap on first and ten. There's that man again. Another catch. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Second down. Knicks. That is incomplete. So the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Accepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. So this one, a win for the Saints. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners, as we say so long from New Orleans.